this game, you're just constantly moving in a perpetual loop. Constantly. That's the game, is what you do. You just move in a loop. All right, I'm gonna upgrade my weapon because this does a uh, plus 10 counter. So if I get hit, I hit back. So not only do I hit multiple times, if they hit me during my attack, I also get to hit twice. Or well, hit again. Rat wolf! I don't like hurting animals, so stop biting me. Stop attacking me, please. Oh, I am getting messed up. Hello and peeps, I am Scarabee, or she's Scarabee Enterprises. Welcome to my channel. Hope you're all having a wonderful time. Let me know how you're doing in the comments. And previous Scarab was an idiot. He has no idea what the fuck was going on. He doesn't understand the game in its complexity and did not have 40 plus hours of experience in the game. Let me just quickly show you something. If I press the select slot and then I go to my, like my main file, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna quickly, just quickly, uh, this, this? Yeah, that's a lot of stuff, right? That's, that's a bunch, bunch of stuff, which means that our current <laughs> build is, we, we, we've unlocked a whole ton of things. Um, so moving forward, I will continue where I left off in the last episode, but I need you guys to understand something. There is four goddamn chapters and i think that there might be like a hidden boss or something i don't know there's been like updates and stuff that i haven't been up to uh just yet but th there is so much stuff happening um and if anyone's curious and to, to know what i'd use now late game take a screenshot of this and then you'll understand that 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 is how i move forward that is what my game plan is. Uh, anyone that knows or plays this game at all, uh, if, if you guys have any idea how to play this game, this, this is the deck you want, in my opinion. I mean, you can still fail in this, but oh God, this is a good, good deck. So I'm about to go back in time to a previous save that doesn't have 40 plus hours in it it has uh let, let's just say this this has yeah 41 hours 49 minutes and 28 seconds this is one hour 23 minutes and 35 seconds so i i am literally going to because i played this like crazy after the first video i played it like crazy i'm going to lose essentially 40 hours of gameplay to play this to show you guys progression and to uh reveal the story as it unfolds but I need to say, oh my god, does this game get good. That last episode, Scarab's an idiot. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He doesn't even know what's happening in this world. He doesn't understand how the game mechanics work. He doesn't know how to beat a boss. He's an idiot. So now, with my newfound knowledge of 40 plus hours, I actually haven't picked this game up for a long time, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be good at it. Um, that being said, with confidence, because I know how the game mechanics work now, and I played it so much! Uh, so let's do that, let's get back into it, and um, yeah, let's play the game. Here we are. This is our simple little unknown town surrounded by darkness, and we have our little campfire, we have our field kitchen, we have our survivor's tents. Uh, they, they all do stuff. Don't get me wrong, they all do stuff, but right now this is shit. This shit is horrible and terrible. Uh, so we want to build some stuff, but we don't have enough materials to build the stuff. Uh, and we need to be able to gather these things in order to do that. So there is a bit of grinding in the game. Um, and in order to do that, we need to cross cemeteries to get some stone. We need to uh, cross the groves to get some wood. Uh, turning blood groves will give us different enemies and help us along and everything. Uh, will also help us in battles, but then you spawn a super strong enemy at some stage. Road lanterns are incredibly OP and they're very, very handy. Chrono crystals I know how to use, and if you combine that with meadows, it uh, increases your health and everything. Your health regen, I think, per day. Um, what do meadows do? Yeah, 2 HP at the start of each day. So if you put a chrono crystal there, it doubles the effect of days passing on the day tiles around it. So if you've got the meadow uh, outside the chrono crystals, it doubles the effect 
of having two HP at the start of each day. And because it's next to a building, that doubles. So not only do you have four, but you have eight. So it's uh, very, very handy to put those next to, next to each other. Oblivion cards are just fucking fantastic. They obliterate everything and they can help you out with uh, dealing with bosses and stuff. Uh, because the, I think the first boss summons a whole bunch of towers that increase its strength and its attack strength, its health and everything. Uh, you do not want that to be a thing. Beacons are handy. I like them. And uh, treasuries are really handy for getting uh, materials. So... That's what we're going with. Spider Cocoon, uh, look, it's just another enemy to fight and you can get loot and stuff from it, but I'd much rather have a Vampire Mansion because um, vampires drop cooler loot. Uh, we do not have a town as of yet, but we're, we're gonna unlock it. Here we go. We're gonna start out with uh, the Warrior. Man, I haven't been the Warrior in a long time. Wow. I am the Warrior. I need to remember how to play the Warrior. I think... You need a spec into... Oh, that's still in frame? No, bad. Um, I believe that you need to spec into... Something. Alright, so I've got it currently on uh, Expedition Speed 4 times and Combat Speed 2.5. That's because I am experienced in the game and I know how it sort of works. And I'm not trying to like float my own boat here or anything. I'm just simply stating... Um, this game takes a long fucking time. Like, if we go just normal speed... Uh, and then combat speed like this like this is the pace of the game I'm not going to make you sit through that. All right, cool. We got a cemetery. That's great I, I just it's screw that I'd, I'd rather just get through it and go Like that's still fast enough to be able to understand what's happening, right? <laughs> okay, so we have a cemetery. We have a vampire mansion. Now we have a, a meadow and a grove, which is really good. So uh, right along here, if we go and stick a cemetery, let's say here, put a vampire mansion here, then these two tiles that I'm currently on are affected by their vampire mansion. So if I fight something here, I fight a vampire as well. I'm going to put a grove here and the main reason for that is I want to collect stone and then I want to collect the wood. Mountains are going to increase my health and everything else. So uh, I'm going to put that... Where's a good spot? There, there. Uh, you want to build around that. So you want to make sure that you can have... Uh, that fit into a nine piece, so you can fit like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight around that, and then around those you get extra bonuses to, to stuff. But once you have built a nine, you start getting attacked by gargoyles and stuff. So, all right, let's quit wasting time. I'll take the armor that gives me max HP and evasion. Yes, evasion. That's what I was. That's what I was going to say at the start. Uh, the best way to start this game is to spec into evasion as a soldier evasion is the best thing that you can do uh evasion and i think deflection if if you don't have an option uh vampirism is good but you don't necessarily need it overly much so i'm gonna uh start putting some stuff around the camp and the reason that i'm doing this now if you look at this it says oh sorry my bad i, I said before that it would doubles it um it does uh, but I thought that when you upgrade it to a blooming meadow, it would be 4 HP. It's actually 3 HP, so correction, my bad. Um, but we heal 3 HP, and that's because because it's next to a Chrono Crystal, crystal uh, it upgrades itself. So it's next to just any building, it upgrades itself. And if you uh, have it next to a Chrono Crystal, it doubles. So that's 6 HP at the start of each day, and the more you put around it, the better it gets. So here we are. I'm going to put the mountain down. Why the fuck not? Let's go. Boom. All right, cool. I found a shield that's going to give me vampirism, pure damage, and defense. Excellent. Cool. cool. All right, so uh, what I was saying before is being having this uh, surrounding your camp is the first thing you should do because uh, as soon as you activate the boss, which is the meter over here, map completion. When this bar is filled, the boss of this chapter will appear on the campfire tile, which is this. So you want to surround that with stuff so then you don't end up uh, empowering the bad guy. Uh, you do not want that to be a factor. So, boom, there we go. That one is not next to a building of any sort, so that's only going to give us two plus two because it's within the uh, zone of the Chrono Crystal. So that's good. And I can put another one here, and then that still gives me the bonus. So if I put some things on the outside of this, then these will become Blooming Meadows, and that's what we want. Just gotta give you a brief rundown of things before I like get really in depth. All right, cool. So I'm going to maintain my rocks. I don't need them at the moment. They're three HP, three more for every adjacent rock or mountain. Uh, whereas mountains are five HP for each adjacent rock or mountain. 
M mountains are better. Rocks, they're shit. You can just have them run out and then uh, you can collect. If you collect too many cards and then you have to discard some stuff, uh, you get resources from that. And the resources are here. I usually have this open. And you want to collect as much of this sort of stuff as possible to upgrade your camp at home. So what we're going to do is we're going to spec heavily into making our character better. So defense, I'll take that. Uh, blood Grove, all right, cool. So uh, putting a Blood Grove here means that the surrounding tiles uh, are going to be affected by the Blood Grove, which attacks enemies if they have less than 15 HP, um, which is very fucking handy, but then you have to fight a super powerful enemy at the end of it uh, when they gather enough power, I guess. All right, so we have a Grove here. I'll put that there, and then I'm gonna put a Blood Grove here. Now, uh, actually, I'm going to put it here. So that means there's six tiles that is currently uh, accessible to that. So anytime we fight on any of these six tiles, uh, we are going to be protected by whatever the fuck is living in the forest. I could boost that like this. Boom, I put a rock there, and now all of those are blooming meadows. And that's a useful way to, to use your rocks. All right, here we go. We got a vampire because we're on a... Um, Vampire tile, and we can chat. I'm pretty sure we can switch this out mid combat. So, boop, there we go. Switch it out mid combat, and there, nice. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna add a vampire here because I want I want better loot when I fight this thing. Now, vampires come in handy, uh, especially when you have a town because it can make a more successful town. Battlefield, oh, battlefields are fantastic. You want a battlefield? Uh, I'm going to put that next to my camp. Uh, every time you pass it, then there is a way to get some stuff. Uh, by that I mean, spawns a chest on an adjacent tile each loop, which means that it's either gonna spawn at camp here or there um, because of the placement and enemies on the tiles around it can become ghosts when they die. I hate ghosts, they are the worst. All right, here we go, uh, mountain, go here. All right, we're going to start seeing bandit camps pop up uh, if we keep placing things down, so we have to be careful with what we do. I definitely want a beacon. Now, you want to place this in a place that uh, can touch the most amount of area. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that nine is good. I'm going to put that there. All right, a chest has appeared, and could place another battlefield, but you don't want to place them too close together because it creates, like, something really scary. Uh, not, not, like, super scary, but... You don't want it there, trust me. You start getting attacked by things called blood clots, and those I hate uh, with a passion. So attack speed, regen per second, and evasion, yes. Uh, I spec heavily into regen at one stage, and it's good, but if you don't have enough damage output, it's useless. Uh, damage to all is fantastic. Oh, we, we do have a sword. Oh my god, I didn't realize. All right, Road Lantern, I'm going to put that here. And the reason for that is because there is a lot of enemies that are going to spawn and collect in this area. And uh, Road Lantern actually um, reduces the amount of enemies that spawn in a location. So uh, if you can get those down, then it's really handy. Uh, the beacons uh, give you movement speed and attack speed for all units so i think that that's including the enemies i'm not 100 percent sure but it, it makes things happen faster and i think it's useful for bosses and stuff as well uh but i don't know we're, we're not really in a position that can do anything about that all right excellent so when we start to knock things off it's going to start at this end so if we want to delete anything we can so if i wish to delete uh i guess i'll do this right now boom if i want to delete that I'll go boop, and then we should be able to get rid of a whole bunch of shit before moving forward. So I can get rid of all of these rocks and not have to worry about things. Now, having a road lantern would be very good to have in this area, but because I'm trying to get rid of some stuff, I'm just going to leave it for a bit. Oh, blue, hello. Uh, pure damage and attack speed. Ooh, that is nice. I'll take it. All right, so right now we have a uh, really shitty damage. We have a decent max HP for this current level. Uh, pure damage is 9. That's good uh, for this current level. Regen per sec is 1.8. That's fucking nothing. Vampirism is 6. That's nothing. Defense is 9. That's nothing. Attack speed is plus 8. Counter plus 7. And uh, the HP per day is doing good. Uh, but attack speed and counter is... Eh, I guess. You really want those up in the high 35s to 40s. You know what I mean? Uh, you you want to have that as, as high as you can get it. Boom. All right, now we're getting now we're getting stuff. Look at this. 
We get memory fragments. So every time we demolish one of these cards, we get we get stuff. Um, so it's really smart to plan what you want to have and what you want to get rid of and when to place it. Also, mentioning the fact that uh, the boss is already halfway to coming out and attacking us, I'm going to put a road lantern here. Now our camp is completely covered, except if we can put a uh, graveyard or a uh, grove in these two spots, they're the only spots that are vulnerable right now. But when the boss does appear, we can also get rid of whatever he does with the Oblivion cards. So it's really up to you whether or not you want to do that. Oh, uh, that is pretty cool. I'm going to grab it. It's really actually kind of a little bit depressing when you play a game so much and then you go, this is nothing. Like what I'm doing right now, I'm getting impressed by really low level items. I'm getting impressed by really low level items and it's a little embarrassing. Um, but that's just because I play this so much now. Oh, hell yeah. All right, so these shields are amazing. You get the spiky shields, they're fucking awesome. They give you damage to all plus defense. So I'm going to take that over vampirism any day because now I am dealing seven damage to all. So if I'm attacking multiple enemies, I get to attack them all at once. Um, not, on top of my normal uh, sword damage as well. So that's very fucking handy. I uh, need to put you here and to put you here. I haven't come across a single goddamn uh, treasury. So that's really annoying. I was kind of holding on to these for that. Damn it. Okay, battlefield. I definitely want to get a battlefield like here. So then they're not touching because if they touch, then the blood clots appear. Oh my God, 17 evasion. Ah, I don't care what, el what, what else I had. I am using that invasion. I don't see anything spawning at the moment, but I'm still trying to be careful. I want to get rid of the rocks. Get rid of the rocks. Give me some stuff to pick up so I can get rid of the rocks. Pure damage 11, that's pretty good, but I much prefer my evasion because it's you see evade and counter pop up, and that's very handy. Oh, hello. That's more evasion. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Less damage to all, but more evasion. Uh, right now, we are currently sitting on 27%. That's up there with where we went, where we need to be. All right, what else can I get? Give me something good, man. Give me something good. That's not good. Actually, I haven't had a look. <gasps> Better. Better evasion. <laughs> I'll take it. It's mine. Uh, counter vampirism. Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess. Counter and vampirism. Okay, that increases my counter, so I'll do it. I get more health anyway. Finally, I get a treasury. Oh my god, I've been waiting for you. Alright, good. I'm gonna put you there. Um, and I can put anything behind it, by the way. Alright, we got another treasury, which is good. We can stick that there, and then we can build things around it in between. So if I put a meadow right here, uh, I get double the bonus of that. Excellent. Uh, now, I could put rocks, mountains, and meadows around these and get plenty of, uh, plenty of stuff. I usually just put meadows, though. So I'm going to build meadows uh, connecting these. And the reason I'm not expanding uh, this way or this way is because if I get another treasury, I can link it up and then do another shortcut. Nice. All right, great. The cemetery. Perfect. I'll put that there, and then that area is now safe. Um, safe from the boss. Like, when he comes in, he will not have anything to protect him. Uh, which is good. That means we can pretty... We, we could push to the end now, but I would like to have a little bit more evasion before, uh, actually fighting the boss. I might do a couple more rounds. I don't know. Uh, I mean, fighting the boss on loop, like, six, for me, is pretty usual. Like, I mean, I, I can, I can get to that. Oh, that gives me evasion. There we go. Boom. Uh, I have 35 evasion. I would be happy to fight the boss now, but I don't have enough health for that right now, so it might not be worth it. <sighs> Is there anything I need to get rid of right now? I don't think so. But as soon as I start building more things, I will need to. So I'm, I'm going to do that. Boop. Boop. And a meadow. There. And then, fuck it, I'll just give you a mountain. All right, did I accidentally make anything happen? No? All right, cool. Uh, boss is close, but not too close. All right, I'm about to pass that way, so I'm going to put that there. All right, I get to place down a meadow. I get to place down a rock. 
I get to place down another rock. And now these are here. Now these things are annoying because they spawn a gargoyle every three days. So, I can get rid of the gargoyle. And now it's gone. I don't have to worry about it. Uh, there is one more though. So if I can get rid of that, that'd be great. But the, um, it sounds like the boss is about to appear. So we are entering late game for this. Okay, I am about to spawn a boss. What am I gonna do? I want a meadow. I want a meadow. And probably as many rocks as I can find. Yep. There we go. Spawn the boss. Alright. Ooh, picked up a bunch of stuff there. All right, so if you see this, the incursion radiates the powerful energy that devours space and time itself. It is time to face the destiny of this world. Um, he doesn't have anything around him because I have not given him any space to have the ability to do that. So I, I am very happy that I managed to get that done in time um, and then plan out. If you know how the game works, and you know that how many things you get to put down, watch that counter very carefully. Then you get to gauge and basically control whether the boss comes out and if he does, when he does, and how powerful is he going to be. It really depends to you. Uh, it really depends on you. All right, here we go. I'm going to stay. I am not afraid. Boss time. How is it possible? That's right! You didn't devour me like the rest of the world! Haven't I? You really don't think so? What are you talking about? I'm standing right in front of you! I consumed all of your reality. It's every element now rests in a separate pocket dimension. Spaces, living beings, information, even memories. They shall remain there until entropy does its work, turning everything into a uniform, static mess. Along with you, of course. You're insane! So what do we have here? I see. You found a way to interact with other pieces of your reality. Organizing, combining, and merging them. But how? I don't see any exceptional talents or knowledge in you. You hardly even understand what's happening, right? I'll tell you what's happening. A pile of bones is bushering my world and thinks he can get away with it. You're already doomed and you know it. Perhaps you're just the first in a series of systematic errors. A problem I must learn to solve. Let's not waste any time then. I don't think you're capable of feeling any regret, but I'm about to change that. Well, here's the boss battle. All right. So I am not doing good, and I should run away. Oh, yeah, oh, this is bad. This is bad. I'm gonna hurt. I'm gonna hurt. I died. That's fine. These things happen. But I don't have a skull, so I can't take all. I I have to take my losses and retreat. But that's fine because it's a learning curve. I should have retreated. I didn't retreat, and now I've lost a bunch of stuff. So, okay, we'll skip forward to when I win this. But wait. We must have some story first. I'm alive. But how? Thanks to us. A small group of us dragged you back here. It wasn't easy. How did you fight all those monsters? They nearly killed me. That's also interesting. Many of them were vanishing right before our eyes. Uh, some we managed to avoid, but I, I think most of the monsters were gone before we left the camp. I think your trips are deeply connected to your memory, my friend. It all fades away as soon as you space out for long enough. So that's a whole part of this story. As we unravel things, uh, time is splitting. The world is being devoured and deleted, but memories affect what happens. That's why we collect memory fragments as well. Um, and we need to collect 10 of those to complete a for a we need 10 of the memory fragments to form a complete book of memories. Now, I'm not 100% certain what that does, but it gives us more, more things to do. Um, but as you remember things, as you expand your world, uh, things get to be a bit more realized. You get to sort of 
learn more about the law of what used to be or what was or what is and there's, there's this whole thing in this game this whole thing that's just crazy it's amazing anyway i'm gonna skip ahead to a boss battle so um so stay and feel free to fast forward through all of this Okay, I think I might have a chance now because I have 52 evasion and a decent amount of damage. I should be able to beat the boss. I hope. I'm not 100% on it, but I'm going to get as much resources from this as I possibly can. And hope for the best. There's a couple of fights between me and there, but... Again, I've surrounded my uh, camp, so it's fine. Here we go, give me my supplies. Thank you. All right, here we go. I'm going to just uh, smash this down, attack these skeletons, and hope, hope, and then I have enough health to be able to do anything. Oh, God. Let's go. Half health. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, fuck, he is hurting me. God damn! So, I might not have been able to beat the boss this episode, but, hey, look, I'm able to upgrade and I'll be able to show you guys a little bit of stuff. So, uh, we have a gymnasium, which unlocks an ability to gain special traits for killing enough enemies during an expedition. Oh my god, that is very handy. Unlocks the village card. That's what we need. That is what we need to move forward. Uh, so I'm going to build that right now. Maybe I'll put it here. Hmm. I see. You don't have to rack your brains for old facts if you can just learn them again. Nice trick. There's no trickery here. Without education, we would degrade into savagery. You know, you can always learn something new. We could all get together and share our useful knowledge and skills. Nah, I already know all I need. I'll, I'll leave lessons to the kids. And here's your first lesson. Learn to enjoy learning. That would make life easier for you and me both. Fair enough. I mean, I can't really blame her for, for saying that because yeah, this character that we're playing is kind of just a prick. <laughs> just a little bit. Um, can we build anything else? Oh, a herbalist hut. All right, so potions. This unlocks potions. And that is very fucking useful, I will say. Uh, taking potions with you means you will survive a little bit longer. You start to, your character automatically takes swigs of it. Uh, so next episode, we'll be able to at least have a little bit of health. You know what I mean? Like every time, uh, we take damage, we can actually go and it's fine. Uh, but it's not in your control. It's when the character feels like he wants to take a potion. So, uh, th th there is an upside and a downside to it, but that being said, you live a little bit longer. It's a miracle we can find some fertile soil and by a miracle saved some seeds of precious healing herbs. But the real miracle is that all these healing poultices and balms still have some effect. We already lost so many people because of the cataclysm. It would not be nice to lose more to any disease. And these potions can help you as well. Take a vial or two on your trip and your chances of getting back in one piece will be much higher. That's my old lady voice. <laughs> I don't know what to do with it. Uh, can we build anything else or is that everything we have right now? All right, cool. So uh, just to prepare for the next episode, I'm just gonna say, we have unlocked the village and the swamp cards. Swamps, um, I never use this one. I don't know what it really does, but uh, the village card is a must. So if I'm going to get rid of anything, uh, it might just be rocks. I could just get rid of rocks. I don't want to get rid of rocks because they are handy. But if I get rid of rocks, 
then we can actually start to accomplish a lot more. So I'm going to do that. We'll get rid of rocks. Man I want mountain. Hang on. Do, do I have to have both? Wait, are you that? Wait, hang on a second. Wait, what? Okay, we'll get rid of blood grove for now. We'll get rid of blood grove and then we'll keep rocks and mountains for some reason. I have no idea what's going on with that. But uh, yeah, we'll keep that. We'll confirm. And then I'll see you guys in the next episode.